What's up hikers, I'm Bigfoot. Today I wanna to talk about how I'm going to be attaching my ultralight umbrella to my pack during my JMT through hike. As you can see, I chose the Hyperlite Mountain Gear 3400 Windrider for my pack, but how I'm going to attach my umbrella is with the right shoulder strap. Now, the manner of which I'm doing this really works out well if you have daisy chains in your shoulder strap. I know all of the Z packs, packs have them. I believe all of the Hyperlite Mountain Gear packs have them as well. Now, what I am doing is bringing my shoulder pouch that I had for my Arc Blast and I put it on my shoulder strap for my Hyperlite Mountain Gear because I want to be able to have an extra place to be able to hold things and I might put my water bottle in here. So there are two different areas in which you need to attach your umbrella. So when you're attaching your umbrella, it's got to be able to be lower enough on the shoulder strap to be able to uh, be stable, uh, but also high enough that your umbrella is going to be just over your head, being able to maximize the amount of surface area that is deflecting the uh, sunlight and giving you that shade. How I'm tying down my umbrella to my pack, I'm actually using a cord lock and cord from Z-Packs. I got this with my Z-Packs 4-in-1 multi-pack to tie down the multi-pack. So what I'm gonna be doing is using the first cord lock right up here. And then the second cord lock, I'm actually using with my shoulder pouch, which I already have to have a cord lock. Now the problem with the cord lock on the bottom, it has to be big enough to be able to go around the handle of the umbrella. So what I actually did was use a longer cord to tie down my shoulder strap instead of the shorter cord that I showed earlier. And this will be able to give me enough to be able to get around the handle and singe this thing down. Now let's show how I'm actually going to be attaching it. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to unlock the cord on the shoulder strap uh, pouch so I have enough slack to be able to get the handle, the foam handle through this loop. Now the nice thing about the umbrella that I chose, the Silver Shadow from Six Moon Designs, it, as you can see, it has a lot of different, about a half a dozen uh, different indentations for you to be able to lock down that cord so that it can't move around on the foam handle. So what I'll do then is lock the cord so it's nice and tight. And then I will take my other cord lock, line lock, and I actually use the very top daisy chain and I'm gonna lock this in place, just like that. So this is what the final product looks like. It is on here really tight and nice. I'm getting the proper coverage that I need. It's uh, able to really cover my entire body. Uh, there might be a little part of my arm, my right arm, that uh, might be exposed unless if I uh, tuck in my arms. But I, uh, I, I tried this out and uh, walked a little bit and kind of tested out the uh, shadow coverage. And obviously it's going to depend on where the sun is in the sky, but I got really covered with this thing. So this worked for me. And the nice part was I just used some of the materials that I already have. So with the shoulder pouch that I have, I'm already using the tie down with my actual shoulder pouch. I just extended the cord a little bit. So I'm not really sacrificing hardly really any weight at all. So that's how I attached my umbrella to my pack. For those of you that have different ways, would love to hear about them in the comments below. Thanks so much, guys. If you found this valuable, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for many more sightings, especially on the JMT. And remember to always follow Bigfoot.